Alright guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily fix this uh, blue screen of death issue kernel auto boost lock acquisition with raised IRQL. Um, very easy to fix this issue. I can see from here it's got the IRQL at the end which means it's related some, to some sort of Windows driver. Typically you'll see this issue randomly so you'll be you log into Windows, you'll be using uh, Windows and then it will just randomly crash or worst case scenario is when you turn your machine on it will crash straight away without even getting to the desktop I'll show you how to fix both issues quite easily so the first uh, I'm going to show you is if you can actually boot to the desktop and it crashes randomly so first thing to do is to go into device manager so if you're in start menu if you just type in device and then click on device manager now we're looking for two things here. If you expand network adapters, and there should be um, an adapter for your Wi-Fi in here. So what you would do is you'd locate your Wi-Fi. This is my desktop machine, so I haven't got Wi-Fi. So there should be an additional Wi-Fi there. Uh, if you just right click on it and just do disable, what that will do is that will disable that uh, device. So uh, the operating system obviously won't use it anymore uh, that will be a good way to test or to find out is it the Wi-Fi driver causing the issue because if you can disable it and use your machine for a day or two and then see if it crashes if the crashes stop then you definitely know it's the Wi-Fi uh, causing the issue if it is what you can do is you can enable it again uh, go to the website like if it's an Intel um, Wi-Fi adapter Go to the Intel website and see if there's a later driver uh, available for it and install it on your system. Uh, the next thing that uh, you should do is disable the Bluetooth. So up the top here there'll be another category called Bluetooth. So if you expand it, I'm just going to obviously show you what to do with the batteries. Underneath uh, the Bluetooth category there'll be all your Bluetooth devices. If you do the same, just right click and disable all of your Bluetooth. And then again, monitor for a couple of days to see if the blue screen of death's um, stop. If it does stop, then you know it's the Bluetooth uh, issue. So again, try and find uh, updated drivers for that. And that should resolve that issue. If you're having an issue where it boots, every, it blue screens every time it boots to Windows, um, there's another video I've created about how to fix that. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, if you could just follow that guide then that should be able to help you right thanks for helping please post any comments you might have below let me know how you get on with this if you've uh, seen this issue but thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe